I was at a stop intersection. Everybody knows how stop intersections work. They're not that difficult. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Once again, not the episode I was expecting to make, but hey, shit happens, I guess. Now, before I even begin this video and before you guys even begin to like this video or comment or any of that stuff, I just wanna say this incident is not as bad as people think. Okay, I'm fine, the other person's fine. Um, things get replaced and that's that. I just wanna mention that out there before I even begin. I don't wanna like hype this up. This isn't like a hype kind of thing. This is, just wanna say everything's okay. Okay, so let's get straight to the point. The Nissan Z is no longer here. The G35 is inside. So one of the reasons why you guys might be confused is because you guys probably know of my first incident with the Z. It was February 16th, me and my buddies went out to eat. Uh, we didn't go out to eat, sorry. We went out to go out to drink boba. And basically we were inside drinking. We went outside and what do you know? Somebody decided to smash the window of my Nissan Z, steal some of my contents inside the Z, and that was that. So that night alone, I was out a couple items and I was out of a smashed window for my Nissan Z. So after that, we went ahead and filed an insurance claim. Huge shout out to Geico. They're probably sick of my shit, right? But anyways, they went and replaced everything. We got the door rewrapped. It got recoded. It got retinted. The window got installed. The whole shebang. Well, anyways, the window had to be ordered. That took about like a week, almost two weeks to get here because it's a Nissan Z. I guess you have to order things for it since they're not, they're kind of barely rolling in. So that took about two to three weeks to finally get every the Z back to normal. And this is where we kind of jump in into the new story. Uh, the Z was brand brand new again and I was going out to drive it you know I don't think it even was like a week it, I didn't even have the Z for a full week back in its normal form before this new incident occurred I was heading to go play soccer somewhere I was I was just bound to have a good day man I was gonna go play soccer I was at a stop intersection everybody knows how stop intersections work they're not that difficult they're not that difficult. Everybody knows the rules of a stop sign. Anyway, I was crossing the intersection and while I was crossing it, I got hit on the side of the Z. Not even a full week with the Z and it is already at the freaking collision center. This thing might already be solid. It's not gonna be salvaged, but fuck, man. So you guys probably wanna see the damage. And this is where the part comes in. Like, it's not that bad, but it's bad enough where the shit has to be replaced. All right, guys, so here's a quick snapshot that will capture pretty much the whole damage of the car right here. You guys can see based on that picture, what well, you guys can see, but you can see the fender obviously took a big hit. It's got a huge dent on it. Um, I don't think it bent the frame. The, the hit wasn't that crazy for it to bend the frame, but what do I know? Um, the bumper obviously got some broken clips. Uh, surprisingly, the paint is absolutely fine. The, the wrap was able to save everything for those who are saying that wrap won't pretend rock chips. I mean, it, it won't, but, uh, but anyways, the bumper will be be replaced the fender will be replaced the headlights going to be replaced and this is already me telling you from the estimate of the insurance um the headlights going to be replaced there are some broken tabs uh bumpers going to be replaced repainted oem factory paint uh fender's going to be replaced factory paint everything um and then my wheel my wheel is going to be uh getting sent to get repaired And I say a month to two months to finally have the Z back is because, uh, well, one month, I'm estimating. It might be longer. It might be shorter. I don't know. My guess is longer just because the collision centers have a lot of cars they have to deal with, man. They have a lot of cars. And not only is it do they have a lot of cars, it took a long time to get the window. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to take a long time to get a fender, a bumper, and a headlight, you know? So I'm estimating one month. For the car to actually be repainted, repaired back to how it was. And then I would have to wait another month for the paint to fully, fully cure. They said 30 to 60 days to fully, fully cure so that I can rewrap it and not have the paint like come off due to adhesion and all that stuff. So that's why I'm estimating one to two months to finally have, you know, the Z back in color. Well, that's that, guys. I don't want to talk anymore. I know I kind of bored you guys, but I'll catch you guys next episode. We'll have to bring more G35 content because obviously we don't have the other car. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.